these challenges that you face they're gonna do their best to take you down do not let them stand up dig in line up those problems and confront them face them fight them do not let them bring you down in fact let those challenges raise you up let them elevate you let their demands and their trials make you stronger let the adversity you face today turn you into a better person tomorrow what they don't understand is that even when you are expecting something good to happen it costs you something and when you keep wanting something that keeps evading you if you're not careful it will wear you down to wait for something, anticipating it and it doesn't happen, costs you more than somebody who wants nothing. That's why we have so many people who fall into the abyss of wanting absolutely nothing because sometimes it is easier not to want anything than it is to want it and not get it. Some people find it easier to just give up and lay dead and just let things happen the way they happen. They are perpetually and inevitably victims of circumstances. They've allowed themselves to be typecast into a perpetual role of nothingness. I may not have it, but I want it. I, I may not be there, but I want to. It may not be in my hand, but I'm snatching after it. I may not have apprehended, but I'm in the press. I may not climb the mountain, but I'll die with dirt in between my fingernails because I will never lay there and accept where I came from to be where I'm going. I will break you before you break me. You will not defeat me. You will not destroy me. Some of you are so ignorant. You've been through so much hell. You won't quit now. You should have quit 10 years ago. You should have quit 10 years ago when he walked out on you. You should have been quit. You don't quit now. It's the 10th round. You got two more to go. And when you get to success, it's not about skills. It's about stamina.